What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to give you guys a quick update on the markets. Please note that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moo link. If you deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks. If you deposit 1000 bucks, you're guaranteed 15 in total, not to mention 8.1% APY on invested cash. So our friends in just two weeks. Anyways, now let's talk about what's happening with the market. Right now, the market is range bound. We saw SPY kind of pump a little bit in the morning then we got this big dump we dumped about three points only to get bought back up again so the market's just range bound for the time being however many tickers out there such as apple are still kind of down the market is still in the red so we did get the dip i was talking about so far so what's going to happen to the market let's talk about some things so today at 11 30 a.m we have the three and six month bill auctions coming out that might cause some volatility uh, I think it's going to come out in the middle of this video, so we'll watch for that. And besides that, there's not really anything else that's too significant for the market. So what's happening with SPY? We have this very, very key zone right here. We have 562 as one of our resistance levels, and then we have 563 above that. And if we end up dipping down lower, I could be looking for about a little bit under the 560 areas, our main support. If we do lose 560, we turn bearish for 558. And if we push above 560, we could technically try to push, but I don't think that's looking as favorable because, like I said before, historically, every time SPY hits 563 to 565, we do see a rejection. We do see a little bit of a dip. And that was no surprise considering that Apple saw a big sell-off today after we saw their iPhone sales for the iPhone 16 end up dipping a little bit down over 12% relative to what we saw last year for the iPhone 15. So... What do I see from here for SPY? Let's look at the smaller time frame just to kind of break down the trend. As you guys can see, it's very choppy. It's been going back and forth and back and forth. We pumped a bit only to get this dump. And now we're just trying to rebound testing our key EMA. So I think we might just be range bound for the time being. Unless we lose 560, we will be dipping lower. Uh, it is riskier to be trying to go long at, or at least uh, trying to like long at these levels. Uh, you could only do that for scalping. Otherwise, I would just be very careful. But there is a risk of SPY dipping again. Uh, looking at the fact that we're at resistance. And I just want to say that with that potentially happening, we'll see if 560 could hold or not on this thing. But just know that there, the market is just range bound for now. At least SPY is. There is a risk of it tipping lower, so give it some time. For NVIDIA, and, and by the way, if we end up losing 560, uh, if we hold below that for one hour, we're looking for 558 on SPY and, and then 555 below that. We'll see if we dip lower. I do see a risk with that for SPY, by the way. Anyways, going back to NVIDIA, uh, we pumped and then dumped, but notice that the level I called out was almost exact. So I said to everyone that I was anticipating NVIDIA would dip down to these key EMAs around the 114 area. That's what I said in the morning. That's what panned out so far. We dipped back down only to bounce off of them. So we're looking at critical support in the 114s. If we lose the 114s, we're looking for a dip down towards the 111 area. If we break past 118, we're looking for 120. As of right now, we're stuck between 118 and 115, just kind of range bound. I think we could dip a little bit lower, but we're just stuck within this range, so give it the time it needs. So it could dip a little bit more, so we'll see how it goes. For Bitcoin, we are dipping right now. We have basically 58,375 as our resistance. If we continue to fall, we're looking for basically 57,500. If that fails us, we're looking for basically 57,000 as well. So we have like a double top like structure. We could continue to fall, so we'll see how things go. Bitcoin is showing some weakness right now. For ES, ES is basically um, in a very, very critical place right now. So I'm seeing uh, bullish momentum is slowing down for it. But there are buyers simultaneously trying to hold it above the 5600 area. So we have basically 5630 is our key resistance. We have supports. The strongest supports at 5610 followed by 5600. If 5600 breaks, uh, I think we're testing 50... Uh, 5594. And if that breaks, we're going down to 5580. Those are some tight levels on ES. Uh, it's kind of consolidating right now, but there is a risk of it dipping lower looking at our bearish momentum that's starting to build and the fact that we're slowing down. So I think it could dip a little bit lower. There's a higher risk of that, but we're just range bound for now. So we'll see if we end up losing the 5600 area. For Tesla, we're just range bound. So Tesla did dip exactly as you predicted. I was calling out basically like 225 or so. We actually went a little bit lower than that, only to get bought back up. So what Tesla's doing is we're just range bound right now. We dipped quite a bit only to get bought back up. 
Uh, we have this 230 areas resistance, then we have support at 228, followed by 226, and we're going to likely remain range bound. Now, Tesla is known for getting rejects in the 230 area, not to mention 235, so it's a very tough resistance. So I think Tesla is going to shuffle for the timing between these levels. There is a risk of it tipping lower later on, but we're just going to continue to shuffle for now, and we'll see how well it holds up. For NQ, we look a little bit weaker. Um, we're basically going to be looking at this 19,400 areas resistance. Our main support's at 19,339. If that fails us, we're going down to 19,270, followed by the 19,200 area. We have this resistance around this 19,500 area, so I think we could dip a little bit lower towards the 20 EMA again on NQ, and we'll see if this rejects or not. This could dip a little bit, so watch and see how it goes. Uh, the QQQ also has some downside potential. Uh, we have this resistance to watch for around 473, and the support to watch for is down towards this imbalance, taking us down into you know, these lower levels. But what's happening is the QQQ dropped to about 470, and then we got bought back up from there. So we're seeing buyers defending it, but I would still be careful because I could see this remain range bound for now. So it could be shuffling between 470 and 473, going back and forth and back and forth. And I wouldn't necessarily say we're officially bullish unless we try to get back above 475. So I think we just shuffle for now. We could even dip a little bit lower later on. But for now, we're just range bound. For Apple, this dumped quite a bit. We called out 215 in my previous video. We went a little bit lower than that before we got, got bought back up. We're looking at, <coughs> excuse me, 217 is resistance. If that breaks, we're looking for basically our next target will be closer to about 219, closer to our 200 EMA. So watch 217. Can we reclaim this or not? That's going to be a very, very key level. Um, if we don't, we could be looking for another rejection. If we reclaimed, we could try to rebound. So we'll see how it goes. Watch that level very, very carefully. For the IWM, I called out 216. I said to watch 218 to watch for a rejection for 216. And then that's where we went to. Now we're going to be watching to see if this holds. If 216 holds, we could be pushing back up to the 217.6 area. And if 216 breaks, we're going to be looking for a big dump all the way down to the 214s. So I'll be watching to see if this holds. I think buyers might defend 216. We might shuffle for now, so give it the time it needs. For coin, I think we look a little bit more decent. We're looking a little bit more bullish. We're getting bought back up. So we'll see if we can try to break past 163. If that does break, we're looking for basically 165. If we lose 163, we could be dipping down to 161.5. So we'll see how it goes. Amazon's dipping right now. We're looking at 184 as support. If that fails, we're looking for a bigger dump. Um, for now, we're just kind of holding that, and we have resistance at 186. So I think we're going to continue to shuffle in this range for now. Um, for Meta, we dipped down to about 520. I was looking for 520 as my target. We went down to 517. Then we got bought back up, so we're just kind of shuffling here. So we're very close to what we predicted. Now we're just going to continue to remain range bound. We'll see if we could break past 525 or not. But we're known for shopping around this 525 area. We might just continue to do so. Microsoft, I said if we could hold above 430, we remain more bullish. If we lose 430, we turn bearish for 427. This is favoring that it wants to hold 430 to start pushing for at least 432 or higher. So we'll see how it goes. And then for Google, for Google, we're looking for basically this 159 areas resistance. If that breaks, we're looking for 160. Uh, and our support to watch was at 157. So I think we have some upside potential for 160 on Google as long as 159 holds. But like I said before, kind of a tight range, not really doing anything too insane. The main volatility came out in the morning. So I think the market's going to see a lot of shuffling. So that being said, um, I'm seeing Tesla trying to push a little bit more, but 230 is going to be a tough level. So I don't expect us to break out unless we get some kind of catalyst, some kind of big piece of news that's coming out. Uh, otherwise, we're just range bound on Tesla in the broader markets. There's not really too much that's going on for now. So we'll see how things go. Uh, the market may see a lot of shuffling for now and also for tomorrow. But once we get to Wednesday, things get absolutely insane. Okay, excuse me. So get ready for Wednesday. That's going to be when we see a lot more volatility. Until then, the market is just continuing to shuffle and do its thing. I thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day. I'll see you guys very soon in another couple of hours for another update. And peace out.